Cancer is the number two leading cause of death in the United States of America, and especially lung cancer, which takes up the priority in both men and women of uh, all ages. Um, there are smoking-related cancers, there are non-smoking-related cancers, cancers which arise only in Asian women, which are totally different cancers, and uh, there are several varieties of cancers. Uh, we have advanced in technology so much that uh, we can show patients about their latest uh, um, imaging techniques, which can pick up minor amount of cancers which are there. The newer technologies also are gearing towards finding out circulating tumor cells which are um, shown to benefit patients who are non-diagnosed with cancers as well. So there are several options including uh, imaging technology, biopsy technologies have varied over several years and um, treatment varies with individual cancers. Um, unlike uh, prior ages where we are using only limited amount of chemotherapeutic agents now, with the latest technology and several studies being performed on several thousands upon thousands of patients, we have come to an uh, analysis of using targeted chemotherapies or targeted agents in gearing towards cancers. I know a year ahead of time that I'd, something was wrong with me. You know, my body was telling me, but I wouldn't go to a doctor. I, just, I don't like doctors. and. Uh, the way I found this was, I thought I had a bad cold. My tonsils was messing up on me. I started spitting up a little blood. And went to the doctor, and I come to find out I had lung cancer. Uh, which is stage 3B disease. He had a very large tumor in the right side of the lung, involving the lymph nodes right around the area here, subcarinal, paratracheal lymph nodes, and also supraclavicular lymph nodes which is in the staging classification we say it is N3 disease. So it, this tumor was T3, N3, which considers to be like a stage 3B locally advanced lung cancer. And this cancer has a feature of call, something called adenocarcinoma, which is a non-small cell variety of lung cancers. So lung cancers are different, non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancers move very rapidly, different presentation altogether, but Non-small cell lung cancers, That's especially what I mean. non -small yes, non-small cell adenocarcinoma, loves to go to the brain. It metastasizes faster to the brain. So we did the scan on his brain, which was negative, and we picked it up, picked up right at the time, and we gave both chemotherapy and radiation together. Using that approach is far better than using a sequential approach by doing chemotherapy followed by radiation. Is based on randomized trials. All the trials, the EORTC trials, the SWOG studies, the intergroup trials have shown much benefit from using chemotherapy and radiation together for downsizing the tumor. Number one, having a good response rate. Number two. Number three, also giving chemotherapy is acting like a synergy with the radiation treatment. Number five is also using as um, my, to prevent micrometastases. So if you have any cells which are floating around elsewhere, you're capturing them by giving you chemotherapy upfront rather than delaying it after radiation treatment. So all these things are helping in controlling the disease process. So he finished chemotherapy and radiation together, had an extremely very good response. More than 70% of the tumor has been gone. So he had small size tumor now and some lymph nodes here. Supraclavicular lymph nodes are totally gone. At that point, we decided to give him additional chemotherapy to work on that tumor process you got, itself. You got aggressive with me. We were aggressive <laughs> with you. Somebody could have stopped the treatment right there or could have consolidated <laughs> with different drugs, but we were a little aggressive uh, because of his performance status. The way patients are doing handling chemotherapy and they're doing their own ECOG status. We follow something called Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group status. If there's someone as ECOG 0 or 1, we would give more chemotherapy as long as they're tolerating well. Because 3B diseases, stage 3B diseases, median survival without treatment for five years is very, very slim. Five to 10% you're talking about. With chemotherapy, we're making so much advances that yes, people are going beyond five years or beyond expected amount of ranges. Oh, That's what we <laughs> hope for. That's what we are hoping for. So um, we are giving consolidation chemotherapy with Alimta, 
um, based on the newer trial which was just published in the latest ASCO, American Society of Clinical Oncology from May 2008, correction, June 2008, where they have shown using Olympta in consolidation after they have completed chemotherapy and radiation have shown far better prognosis compared to just uh, doing nothing at that point. He's not a surgical candidate because of the advancedness of the disease. So we are giving him chemotherapy to consolidate the tumor. Now that we have the new issues about the pain in the back, we need to scan as, as well as, since we are completing three cycles of treatment, we are scanning him as well. Radiation and chemo together. That's the same time, you know, radiation and chemo the same days, you know. I'd get, I'd get chemo once a week and radiation every day of the week. Any pain gain, issues? No, gain some more weight. Good, very good. <laughs> how many, how much did you gain? From 188 to 210. 180, wow, that's <laughs> a lot of weight gain. A lot of weight. So that is from the diagnosis through now? Through now. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So you did not lose much? No, I didn't lose any. No. Very good. So your appetite is good? Yep. You're tolerating the treatment well? Yep. Just weeks so. out. Just week? Week. Yeah. Yes. But the chemo itself is not causing any nausea or vomiting? The chemo don't bother me at all. It's the shots I get after the chemo that bother me. Yes. But you have pain medication for the shots? Yep. Very good. And you have a port placed, yes, which is very good. Put it in Monday. Fantastic. So we are going to use the port today for the chemo. Yes, this would be your third cycle of Alimta chemotherapy. After this cycle, we will scan you. We will repeat a PET scan. PET scan is much better than CAT scan to include the whole body so that if there's any bone disease or anything, we can find out from the PET scan. Given the fact this is a little tender here, and also a little tenderness here, I think including the whole PET scan would be a better idea rather than just doing a CAT scan alone. Whatever you think. Okay. And you should continue your folic acid. Yes, ma'am. It's a part of the program for the Olympta. And the B12. B12. You'll be getting a B12 shot today mm -hmm. with your treatment. And the Neupogen would be next week just like the way the program is. The Neupogen is a growth factor which is given for uh, improving the white cells after the chemotherapy. And the anti-nausea medications which have given you the cocktail of Compazine or Zofran, everything needs to be used as needed. Uh, you do not need to take them if you don't need them. No macho man, take my medicine, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's been bad. The chemo's not bad. The, the shots I get to build my blood back up is what works on me, but none of it's really, really bad. You know, you can handle any of it, you know. Um, his being the, the breadwinner as to my just support and we've been lucky we've had a lot of family support his sister's been here with us every visit and uh, we've, we've done good it's uh, it's different though it, it, it puts everybody in a different feel the worry now I know where he felt and it's hard it's hard because you're you feel helpless you you're not just there doing because you, when you're in this chair you know you're being taken care of and you know how you feel and then you're we're sitting over here thinking well I want to do something I want to do something and there's nothing that we can do but except can, be there can and oh yeah it can be whipped I've, I'm 16 years clear so and I'm he's gonna do that too I'm sure you want to know they tell you straight out what it is you know and uh, cancer is a scary thing but you don't die with cancer you learn to live with cancer what you do so one thing to remember. Cancer is not death, necessarily a death sentence. It's, you got to get medication, you got to get help, you know, but it's not necessarily a death sentence, you know, because I'm going to whip it.